Special night here for a few reasons. First of all, if, my name is Kit Delorier, and I am the president of a new nonprofit here in Jackson Hole called Pursue Balance. So I'd like to welcome you all to Pursue Balance's very first public event. Thank you for coming, and thanks to uh, PJ Patton, our executive director. It's mostly just the two of us right now <laughs> for largely putting this show on. Um, a tiny bit about Pursue Balance, new nonprofit, as I just mentioned, the, the largest international um, travel medicine clinic in the world. And it was during his time in Kathmandu at the Siwet Clinic that Dr. Shim was introduced to Buddhism at the level that he has been, and he's become um, a student as well as a teacher here locally. For five years now, he's been teaching Buddhist classes in, uh, for most of the year on Tuesday evenings. And um, he's a wonderful gentleman, and he'll be here with uh, Pakchok Rinpoche on the stage, and he'll be introducing him. So it's with great pleasure that I introduce Dr. David Schlim. Thanks a lot. Thank you, and, and thank you for all uh, coming out tonight to, to see Pakchok Rinpoche. Um, what I'd like to do tonight is a little bit different, is bring him out. And then I'm going to do a, a, a very short uh, slideshow with some pictures that will introduce uh, do some to you uh, in, a, in a slightly different way. Um, Pakchik Rinpoche is what's considered a reincarnate Lama. That is that uh, as an 18-month-old, he was recognized as being the reincarnation of a previous teacher who lived in East Tibet. And that's kind of a special group. There's maybe 100 or so in the world now traveling and teaching, and, but very few of his age, almost none, he's young, 26, 27 years old, and also who are able to teach directly in English. And uh, in Germany, we were together in June at a different conference, uh, and I, I said, you know, it must be hard for you to have to teach in English. Wouldn't it be simpler to teach in Tibetan, the language that is his native language and is the language very specific to Tibetan Buddhism? He says, no. He says, I really like to connect directly with my audience, so that's a, a nice thing in this new generation. Um, one of the uh, signs of, uh, of respect for Tibetan Lama is when he uh, comes into a room, people stand up if you feel like doing that, and then uh, I'll bring him out, do my little introduction, and we'll get on with the talk. So let's welcome Pakchok Rinpoche from Kathmandu. It's okay to clap. <laughs> the spots down and then I can show my slideshow. Maybe you need to see, yeah. So this is uh, Choki Nima Rinpoche. This is Pakchuk Rinpoche's uncle, who is the head of the monastery where Pakchuk Rinpoche grew up in Nepal. And Choki Nima Rinpoche has been to Jackson twice and uh, he taught uh, the teachings that led to the book Medicine and Compassion, which is listed in your, in your program. A very good overall introduction to uh, Tibetan Buddhism. And um, his father, Tuku Urgan Rinpoche, Pakchuk Rinpoche's father, uh, was considered, what? Your grandfather, um, was considered one of the great meditation teachers of this last century, really. Uh, he died 10 years ago, but his reincarnation has recently been identified. And uh, so we look forward to that. He's five years old. Um, but uh, so this is part of the really legendary family that Pakchuk Rinpoche comes from. And this was when I first met Pakchuk Rinpoche. This was a surprise. 
he didn't know I had these pictures, so I wanted to show this, and his little sister uh, behind him. And one time at a retreat at uh, his grandfather's uh, monastery, nunnery, where he lived, he came into my tent for some reason. I was, you know, out of all the people there and sat there. We didn't have any words uh, in common at all. But when I took his picture, this was the pose that he uh, adopted. And then I got to watch him struggle to uh, take on the responsibilities of being identified as a young Lama to be and to stand beside his uncles and father, father on the right, Chokinim in the middle, another uncle, and Pakchok Rinpoche at an important annual ceremony that they did up at Nagi Gompa, the nunnery. This is the monastery in Kathmandu where he grew up and uh, sat through many uh, ceremonies like this one. It's also a monastery where Jane, my wife, and I were married uh, with Chokinima Rinpoche. And um, here is, um, is this, yeah, that's uh, Pakchuk's mother, grandmother, and great aunt uh, at one of these ceremonies. And, um, and this is his father, who's the, who lives in the same monastery, Choling Rinpoche. And he's the sort of ceremonial master, what they call the Vajra master of all the ceremonies and all the powerful rituals that they do. But he's also just a loving father of four children and two reincarnate lamas, including uh, Pakchak Rinpoche. He's also Pakchak Rinpoche's younger brother is the reincarnation of Dugal Kenzi Rinpoche, another great lama of this past century. And so uh, Pakchak has grown up, taken his place alongside these guys, the first snowfall in 60 years in Kathmandu, they're, uh, <laughs> first in their lifetime since being there. So, um, and, I, and then in terms of, of introducing tonight's talk, this was uh, Tamil in Kathmandu uh, in 1979 when I first went there. And this is the same corner in 1984, looking the other direction, but still things change. Things don't stay the same. How do you maintain any kind of of calm attitude? How do you take things in stride? This is a modern challenge as things change so rapidly, not only in Nepal but in our own country. And so finding a balance, finding a way to, to be independent of these changes and find some kind of peace of mind is the topic tonight. And he's going to really try to answer the question, what to do? <laughs> I'm finished. All right. Thank you very much. How are you? Very happy to see you all here. And uh, Dr. Shili, let me show a little bit my secret too. <laughs> now you all know. Um, very happy to see you all. And uh, today I like to um, speak, try to explain uh, how to balance not only that, how to gain some freedom when you live in. 21st century uh, modern life. Um, before I'd like to uh, explain uh, things, I'd like to uh, sort of like supplicate or think of my kind, uh, my teachers, and of course uh, my uh, teacher.